What's good guys, it's your boy Gavin Paranormal. Today we're customizing a pair of Jordan 1 Lowe's with the Samurai Jack thing. Now, you know, I hadn't done a character custom in a minute, so I know it's long what we do. So I don't want to keep y'all waiting. Let's get into it. Enter the Paranormal. First thing we want to do um, before we do any customizing is go ahead and prep the shoe off camera and now we're going to um, be weeding out our stencils, um, putting down our transfer tape, now we're going to put them on the shoe. Now that they're on the shoe, we're going to remove the transfer tape. And take care of all the pieces that we don't want to leave on there. Alright, so one of the most important things to do when using this uh, vinyl is to heat it um, with your heat gun so that way it'll better adhere to the shoe and have a nice strong bond while you're doing everything else. We've placed down a coup, now we're going to uh, start working on Samurai Jack himself. All right, so we've done all the steps that we did with a coup, um, and something else you see me doing here is cutting um, along the Nike swoosh and all the other raised sections of the shoe, so that way we don't have any paint that's slipping under that stencil. All right, so now we're gonna put down our gray base coat for the paint that's coming after. Moving to the other side of the shoe, we're going to go ahead and put our black swoosh just to kind of give a little character over there, but don't do too much. Now we're going to go back to uh, Samurai Jack's shoe and um, we're going to do a gradient using this purplish paint first. Now we're going to airbrush in the orange paint below it. Now that we have those two, we're going to mix in um, a little more purple with the orange paint that I've used just so we can have that in between paint color. And now we gotta airbrush that in as well. Thank you. 
so as you can see here my airbrush wasn't working so I had to um, do a little TLC on it and now we back rocking um, we're working on a coupe here with the top section of his gradient being kind of like an army um, olive green and below that will be a orangish yellow color as well But one extra thing we did with him was outline him with red. Hey, hey, wait, wait, wait. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, I'm not sure if we're monetized yet, you know, at the time of recording this little insert, but y'all have been supporting me like so crazy. So that's enough of talking. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And let's get back into it. All right, so now is the time where everything really turns up, um, where we're going to be doing both of the characters as well as their backgrounds. Starting here with Samurai Jack, we're doing the outline for the Japanese cherry blossom tree. Um, I don't know if you grew up watching um, this cartoon, but we all know that he would go and you know, kind of just like you know, step away and get some solace there um, at the cherry blossom tree. Um, I can't fully remember, um, you know, everything about um, you know when he would go, but I do know for a fact that he visited that section very often. All right, so the way that we're gonna do this is build in with uh, different shades of red and pink just to kind of, uh, you know, give the, the different color um, selections that you'll actually see in the cherry blossom. So we're using this red. Now we're coming in with uh, a darker red. And we have pure red and now we're gonna use, we're gonna use like a, a Tahitian neon type of pink. And we're just going to keep on filling it in until it looks, uh, you know, satisfying to our taste. Alright, we did the leaves, and but what is a tree without the uh, trunk? So now we're going to start working on the trunk of the tree as well as the limbs that uh, flow through it. All right, so Samurai Jack's background is complete. Now we're gonna to move to a coup and we're gonna draw um, out his city where he has like these weird looking black uh, buildings with the, you know, with the red windows and everything. So you'll see what I'm talking about as I do them.
right, so now we stand on that shoe. Um, we're going to start removing the stencil that was left there for a coup and start filling him in. All right, so we're going to start with filling in the green parts of his face. Now we're going to work to the red accents. finish up with the black parts of his body. Alright, and we can't forget his eyes as well. Alright, so now we're going to start working on the main character, Samurai Jack. Uh, first, we want to start out with his hair. So now we're going to start working on his eyes as well. And I can't remember uh, if I was drinking coffee or if I may have had too candy, too much candy, but my hand was shaking like crazy. So I had to use a pencil. Um, and, you know, that's like a little hat that you can use in your customizing uh, journey is use a pencil because, you know, it doesn't have bristles and it's a lot more sturdier for those days where you just can't keep your hand straight. So that's why you see me using the pencil. Alright, so we're going back to the paintbrush uh, with painting in his uh, skin. Skin complete. Now we're going to do the highlights on his clothes and fill in with the white paint.
right, so now we have to fill in his blade. Now we're going to do some of the orange highlights on his body. A failure is not always a mistake. It may simply be the best one can do under the circumstances. The real mistake is to stop trying. It's been your boy Gabba Paranormal. Thank you all for sticking through this video. See you next time. Peace.